We got two new drones from DJI Enterprise that might be just what you're looking for. We're gonna go through the pluses and the minuses of these drones, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, we as drone dealers, we get questions all the time. And by the way, our information is on the screen. If you wanna buy any of these drones, please make sure you reach out to us. But as drone dealers, we get questions all the time about which drone should I buy? Usually when we're talking about drones with thermal capabilities, you are talking about the Mavic 3T or the M30T. Now the Mavic 3T is small, it is collapsible, you put it in a case, it's easy to carry around. Uh, it's got a great thermal camera on it, it's got a 56 times zoom on it, but it also has no weather rating. So that is a big minus on the part of the Mavic 3T. So with its lower price, you're not gonna get that weather rating. Then you bump up to the Matrice 30T, and not only are you getting an IP55 weather rating, but you're also getting a better zoom lens. It's like a 200 times zoom lens on it. A uh, big portion of that is optical. So it really is a big upgrade, but the upgrade also comes in the price. It's a lot more expensive than the Mavic 3T. But now when people ask us that question, we actually have a great answer. And that is the DJI Matrice 3D series. This is the Matrice 3DT with its thermal camera on it. There is the 3D as well, which is really meant for mapping. Uh, it's got a big micro four thirds sensor on it, 20 megapixels, mechanical shutter, all that good stuff. So the 3DT does not have all of that. It does have a camera on it. It can do mapping with the color camera, but the sensor is not as good and there is no mechanical shutter. So you might have heard of these drones. You might have seen some stuff about these drones. These are going to be primarily used with the DJI Dock 2. Now the Dock 2 is an incredible machine. Basically it's drone in a box. They're gonna be using them in many different scenarios, public safety, inspection work, mapping, but it really is some remarkable technology. Basically the drone sits in the box, lives in the box, you set it up to fly a route and it opens the box and it flies off by itself. So pretty cool. But you don't have to use the DJI Dock 2 to use one of these two drones, the 3D or the 3TD. There are several things about this drone that are similar, especially to the Mavic 3T, but it does have a similarity to the M30T, and that is that it is weather rated. So this is IP54 rated. That means it's dust proof. That means it's waterproof. So you're not gonna have any problems flying this in the rain, precipitation at all. Now I wanna talk about some differences here. And obviously the big difference is that it does not fold. So this is the footprint. This is how big it's gonna be. It does not fold down. You're gonna have to probably get a special case for this. I'm sure somebody's gonna create a case for this soon. Um, but it does not fold up. So it is not quite as portable as something like the Mavic 3T or the M30T even. Size-wise, it is somewhere in the middle between the Mavic 3T and the M30T. Obviously, I mean, when those two drones are folded out completely, the size of this is somewhere in the middle of the Mavic 3T and the M30T. Obviously, when the other two drones are folded up, this is gonna be a lot bigger than those. Also, like the M30T, it has an RTK puck installed in it already. So you don't have to add an additional RTK unit on top of this drone or anything. It's already built into the drone. And that's important if you know what RTK is. It's important if you wanna do high precision mapping, RTK is a big deal. And I encourage you to do more research on it if those are the things that you're wanting to do with this drone. Just like the other drones, uh, this has obstacle avoidance all around it. So on the sides here, on the front, these also cover the upper view as well and you've got some here on the back facing down. What you do not have are sensors on the back here. So there are no sensors here, so that is gonna be a blind spot. There are sensors down here on the bottom, but not up here. So that is gonna be a problem. If you get this drone, make sure you understand uh, that that is a blind spot and you gotta fly really, really carefully. The sensor on this, just like the Mavic 3T, it is literally the same sensors on this drone. So you've got a wide angle camera, uh, and I said what the differences were between the Matrice 3D and the Matrice 3TD. You've got a high resolution 640 by 512 thermal sensor on this drone. So even at 400 feet, you are gonna get relatively accurate heat signatures. And then it's got that great 56 times hybrid zoom lens on it. So you're not gonna have to get close to anything. Uh, you are just gonna be able to use that zoom to drill right in and see what you're looking at. Also similar to the M30 series and the Mavic 3 Enterprise series, uh, there's an expansion port on top here. So 
think of things like spotlights, like speakers. Those are already available for the M30T and the Mavic 3 series, but they will eventually be available for this drone as well. Even parachutes, things like that. Pretty incredible that they're coming up with all these different ways to accessorize a drone like this and make it more useful. Batteries, just like you're used to, they pop out from the back. There isn't a little extra latch there to keep it going, but you can just squeeze and pop it right out. It's kind of hard to get it out, but these are the batteries. They are not the same batteries as like Mavic 3T. They are not the same batteries as the M30 series. So whole different battery setup. And right now there is not a multi-charger for it. I bet there will be soon, but right now you can only charge one battery at a time. Now remember, this is meant for the dock. So the dock actually charges it up. So we are sort of using this as kind of a, you know, other use case uh, in this instance, uh, gonna use this drone without the dock. It's also got beacons built in on the top here and on the bottom, uh, there is a beacon down here as well. So those are very useful if you're flying at night and you really have to use those anyway per FAA rules. They say you're gonna get about a 50 minute flight time. Now that is probably not accurate. I think when DJI calculates that, they figure it in the absolute best conditions possible. I think realistically, you're looking at 35 minutes before you start coming home. But 50 minutes is a little bit of an overshoot. I, like I said, I think 35 to 40 minutes is really what you should be expecting. Now, I may have already said this, but it does use the same remote that you can use with the DJI Enterprise drones. Uh, it uses DJI Pilot 2. So if you are coming from another drone, like the Mavic 3 Enterprise drones, or even the M30T, or even the M350, you're not gonna have any problems learning how to fly this drone really quickly. It really is the same as flying with a regular drone, even though it's meant for the Dock 2. The one thing to get used to is the fact that it doesn't have any sort of landing gear on it. So I would suggest using a landing pad for sure if you're gonna be using this drone, especially out in the grass or anything like that. All right, now let's talk about pricing. And I'm gonna give you the pricing for the thermal versions of these drones. For the Mavic 3T, you're looking at about $6,200. That comes with four batteries, a hard case, all that kind of good stuff. When you're looking at the M30T, you're looking at about $9,000 without batteries. Uh, you do get the charging station, you get a hard case, uh, you get the smart controller, but you do not get any batteries. So once you add batteries on top of that, you are looking at closer to about eleven dollars to $12,000. With the Matrice 3DT, you're looking at just over $6,000 for the drone itself. That doesn't come with a remote, that doesn't come with a hard case, that is just the drone, no batteries with that either, so keep that in mind. That's a little over $6,000 for the drone, completely bare bones. Now you gotta add almost $1,000 to get you three batteries. You have to get a battery charging kit, that's the one I was talking about, that you can charge one battery at a time. That's $279. Like I said, you have to buy that smart controller and that is an additional $1,200. So now you're looking at a price that is sort of between the Mavic 3T and the M30T. The size of it is somewhere in between the Mavic 3T and the M30T. And the capabilities, all the features, is somewhere in between the Mavic 3 Enterprise Series and the M30 Series. So. You get my drift. This really is an in-between drone for anybody that's looking for an enterprise drone. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you are interested in any of the drones we talked about today, we sell these drones. That's what we do. We are DJI Enterprise Partners. We sell drones to lots of people, police, fire departments, surveyors, construction companies, you name it, we are working in that industry. So please reach out to us. You see the information on the screen and in the description below. We love talking drones with people and coming up with solutions for whatever problem you have or whatever solution that you might need. So please reach out to us. We appreciate you stopping by. We'll talk to you next time.